Dr. Jill Stein understands that we are at the confluence of a historic period that requires mass mobilization to confront what Dr. King called the fierce urgency of now. We need a president who understands the urgency to fight for revolutionary change that will dismantle the system of white supremacy, militarism, environmental racism, and the war against whistleblowers. Dr. Stein has the courage to describe the massacre at Emmanuel African Episcopal Church as an act of white supremacy and not attempt to divert the conversation to one of gun control. The lives of Emmett Till, Megger Evers, Michael Brown, Martin Luther King Jr., Walter Scott, Trayvon Martin, and 12-year-old Tamir Rice converge in a uniquely grotesque brotherhood of death on the streets of America, where blood, dirt, and white hatred walk around, walk around with impunity to kill. These murders are in addition to a carnivorous prison industrial complex bloated with nearly one million bodies that has meticulously impaled black men, boys, and black families. These are the issues that must be addressed, but only one candidate, Jill Stein, has the moral authority to speak truth to power. We've learned some valuable lessons over the past six years. We know what to expect from the Obama administration. Nothing. We now know what to expect from the President's Commission on Policing. Nothing. We have by now seen the only real policy the government has to address the epidemic of black deaths because of white supremacy is waiting us out until the storm blows over. That's it. But this administration has underestimated us and underestimated the resistance movement. Hillary Clinton said during her speech at the U.S. Conference on Mayors that, the, that an African-American child has a, ch has, has a chance of dying from asthma 500% greater than that of a white child. She asked the question, how can that be? Well, there's no great mystery. The EPA allows industries that pollute to site near African American and low income communities. Mm -hmm. And whistleblowers who are courageous enough to sound the alarm against pollution and polluting industries are basically gutted. They are destroyed in their tracks. And that must stop now. Under a Green Party, Under a Green Party administration, those whistleblowers such as Chelsea Manning will be immediately released from prison. Yeah. Give me an applause. For you. <laughs> Polluting industries will be shut down, and whistleblowers will be considered heroes. Yeah. Yeah. America is so desperate, so desperate for leadership. And for me, that kind of leadership is going to come from Dr. Jill Stein. Thank Woo! you.